Okay. I was in the hospital, and I was supposed to have a simple outpatient procedure done. Mm -hmm. But I woke up 12 days later in, like, critical critical condition. It was really bad with all kinds of pumps in and out of me. They went in to remove a a gallstone. I'm trying to make this as brief as possible. They went in to remove a gallstone. Well, he accidentally stabbed through my gall duct. It, my my bowel duct and sent these things up my whole bloodstream. So they had to cut me open, and they had to take out all my organs and clean it with saline. And I still have not been right since this surgery. Oh. And it has like, um, what is that word where it just, what is that word where it bothers you all the time? Persistent. Chronic. Chronic. Chronic is the word you're maybe thinking of. How long ago did this happen, Haley? It's been almost a year. It. I'm still traumatized by it. That's the word I was looking for, traumatized. Well, I understand. I, yeah. Um, the, the original surgery for gallstones was done with a scope where they just did a hole and went in and did the work, but then they had to actually open you up to do the rest of the work. Is that right? Yeah, he lost the needle. He lost the needle inside me as long as they had to cut everything open. They did get that out. Wow, this is a, a fascinating case. Mm. Um, gentlemen, a complicated medical case like this, and it is complicated. Where do yep. you begin? Should she call you guys and come see you someday and have a conversation? What do you recommend? Yeah, I mean, I would definitely think that you need to speak with an attorney. Uh, you know, medical malpractice cases can be very difficult uh, due to the limitations and this is actually tort reform related as well, uh, on what you have to do to prove your cases under uh, MedMal in Alabama. Um, you know, the standard of care is going to govern whether you have a case or not, whether that doctor breached the standard of care uh, in performing that surgery. Uh, I'm so sorry this happened to you, but uh, I would definitely seek the assistance of an attorney just to get an opinion on whether or not uh, that doctor did in fact breach that standard of care, uh, which will take another doctor's uh, opinion of the same qualifications to see whether that, that standard of care was breached. I'm not an attorney or a doctor, but if they leave a needle in you, isn't that a problem? Well, you'd think that that would be a good case, but I tell you, Mike, the way it's the deck is stacked against people that are injured by medicine today, I think it's the the worst example of injustice that people have. Because and, it boils down to a doctor testifying against another doctor. Well, yeah. First of all, these cases are extremely expensive. If you have to be very talented as a lawyer to to prosecute one, and because of that, there's only a handful of good medical malpractice lawyers in the state of Alabama. A handful. I mean, people just won't take them, and so. If, if this young lady calls 10 lawyers just out of the phone book, yeah. none of them are going to take it because they know it's going to cost $50,000 to prosecute it.